let's look at the very last problem. This is scenario number 10. And I've kept new event one here and added this new event two here. And then the question we're gonna cover is problem 31. So just to refresh your memory, remember that Adam, or Andrew rather, had a 60% mineral interest in 60 acres. And Andrew leased that to um, Oil Co. for a 1 16th royalty. And then Oil Co. assigned 40% to X Company. So right now, the interest of the parties are. Um, Oil Co. has a 20% working interest. And then X Company has the 40%. So the 40 and the 20 equal the 60% mineral interest here. So that was this scenario, or it, con it conveys 40%. So now the new event is that on December 15th, 2006, X sends a letter. X sends a letter to Oil Co. And basically says, hey, uh, we no longer want to be responsible for the payment of rentals. So X sends an envelope to Oil Company, which contains a letter providing notice that X elects not to participate in the payment of rentals. And then also a recorded assignment of lease whereby Exxon assigns to Oil Co. all of its right title and interest. So now X is assigning back to Oil Co. So X company had its 40% interest. And now it's conveying back to Oil Co. that 40%. Oil Co. owned a 20%. Now they're getting the 40%. Now, once again, they own the full 60% working interest. Um, and the question for number 31 is the oil co lease and title analyst should schedule future rental payments as follows. So the rental payments are going to be um, from this date, December 15th, 2006. From that point on, the rental payments are going to be um, only paid by Oil Co. So Oil Co. is going to pay the full 60%. And remember, he had 60% mineral interest in 60 acres. And the other thing to remember is that the, the rental payment is $10 per net mineral acre. So now we're just going to look at 360. We're going to look at 36. We're going to look at uh, 60 times 0.60. So that is 36 net acres. And now we want to multiply that by the amount per acre, which is $10. So the payment that is owed to um, the oil co uh, is going to be responsible for is three hundred and sixty dollars. So that's the dollar amount, three hundred and sixty dollars. And now the date of this is going to be January first, two thousand seven. Now to get here, we kind of have to go backwards and remember when that first lease was granted to. Um, to Andrew, or when Andrew first um, granted that interest to Oil Co. Let's see, where was that? Oh, so Andrew's lease is on January 2nd, 2003. So 2004, um, 
So there was a rental due on 1 2 2004, 1 2 2005. And then there's a new event that happens in December 15th, 2006. So the next rental payment is going to be 1 2nd, 2006. And then December 15th, 2006, the next payment is going to be a 1 to 2007. And so that 2007 payment, that's the where Oil Co. is going to be responsible for 100% of the rental payment. And so the answer for this is 360. And on page 31, problem 31, that is going to be answer B.